Hey guys, we have a couple topics for you. We will provide a very quick update to the V-band light curve of Tabby Star using David Lane's latest measurements, and we will provide an update on when we can expect to start seeing measurements from Bruce Gary once again. So this is where we left off in our last video dated February 10th, and we showed this light curve where we see a 3.54% overall drop in flux in 27 months since we've been keeping track of KIC 8462852. And we also discussed how it is very unlikely that dust can continue to accumulate around this star considering the constant radiometric pressure from the star's flux pushing the dust out of that solar system. And we also discuss that it is highly unlikely that random dust can form such a structured and symmetrical light curve as shown here. So we refer you to that last video for a more detailed description and discussion, and we won't repeat it here. So let's now go ahead and zoom in on that portion of the light curve that is bordered by the red box. So this is the V-band centered 25-day simple moving average light curve over the past 265 days that we showed in our last video. And this is the measurement taken on February 22nd and the measurement taken on February 23rd. And this is the best fit light curve over the past 281 days. And the slopes S1 and S2 are exactly equivalent to one another as shown here. And the structured curve, as we discussed in our last video, remains intact, showing the equivalencies of a parallelogram. Notice that the last three data points of the 25-day simple moving average seem to be starting to divert from the previous slope. But we need a few more data points to know if this is a shift in the slope or just a slight wiggle, as has been the case many times before. So let's zoom back out and update the long-term dimming statistics. So to date, KIC 8462852 has dimmed a total of 3.80% from December 6th of 2015 to January 23rd of 2018. That's approximately 27 months. And since the peak of the temporary brightening event, the star has dimmed 1.17%. Well, guys, that's our quick update. We hope to have measurements from Bruce Gary very soon. The position of this star is now favorable to him at his latitude in Arizona. So he plans to begin taking his measurements as early as tonight. So this will be a great addition in helping us track this star. Well, guys, that's all we have. Take care, and we will see you very soon in our next video.